National Treasury is backing Finance Minister Tito Mboweni's position that South African Airways should be closed down and a new airline established. But Finance Portfolio Committee Chairperson Yunus Karim says that's not ANC policy. The Joint Finance Committees are busy deliberating on the 2018 revised fiscal framework. Part of the discussions is the drain of state-owned enterprises on the fiscals going forward. National Treasury believes the continued bailouts of SOEs pose a risk to the fiscals and economic growth. The Finance Minister said yesterday SAA ought to be closed down. I think certainly as Treasury we think there are no holding cows. We agree strongly with the Minister and these questions have to be posed because ultimately the budget is about trade-offs and the hard choices have to be made that if you want higher growth we're going to have to cut down on recurrent expenditure. But the Finance Committee chairperson is of a different view saying that is not ANC policy. Our position is guided by the ANC position. We're accountable to the political party we come from. And so until now our understanding was a strategic equity partner and a variety of partnerships with the private sector. Meanwhile, the committee has also been deliberating about South Africa's debt levels. Debt ratio to GDP is now edging closer to 60% of GDP. Treasury says the target for debt should be 40% of GDP adding that debt would not be rapidly scaled down, that it affects service delivery. The view that in broad terms, if you reach 60%, it's going to be very hard to come back. Uh, if you're going to go beyond 60, it's going to be very hard to bring down debt after that. And that you should probably have a buffer of around 20 percentage points of GDP in, in case you have another global financial crisis. I think that makes a lot of sense. So I, I wouldn't say we're in a debt trap yet. The committee National Treasury and some stakeholders like COSATU have welcomed the dismissal of SARS Commissioner Tom Moyane. They agree that the institution was systematically destroyed and a new SARS Commissioner should be appointed without delay. Ulelani Philip, SABC News, Parliament. Well, let's take a quick look at the